and there are more and more clinically obese people in the industrialised world. Here to tell us more about the body's metabolism and how it works is Susanna Klaus from the German Institute of Human Nutrition in Potsdam. Uh, thank you very much for joining us here on Tomorrow Today. Now looking at that report, it looks pretty much like brown cells are burning white uh, fat cells. Is that the case? Is it that easy? Sounds good to me. But... Uh, well, usually, normally the function of brown fat is to produce heat. So it will only do that if there's a demand for heat. So if you have a heat loss, if you're in cold. So it's not the normal function to burn off white fat. Um, would you say that it's just another miracle cure promised by science if they, if they introduce this by, I don't know, in injecting the hormone and activating the brown cells? Well, I don't think it's a miracle cure. It's an interesting perspective. But the only way nowadays to, to activate pound fat is to uh, give hormones. And these hormones also have uh, side effects, of course, like they increase blood pressure or so. And so we would need to find hormones which uh, specifically activate pound fat without activating other metabolic pathways. Okay. Um, so what about natural ways to activate it? Well, uh, one natural way is, of course, cold. If you're in the cold, the body feels cold, sympathetic nervous system is activated, and then this activates the pound fat. And um, exercise as well, I've read that activates. Yes, that's a very, very new finding, which was so far only found in mice, that the skeletal muscle, when it's activated by exercise, produces a hormone which then recruits or activates pound fat. Okay. Now, you yourself, you study uh, the metabolic pathways affected by diet in mice. What exactly do you do? Well, we try to find uh, interactions between dietary factors and genetic factors, and we also look at the activity for, of skeletal muscle, for example, and try to figure out how uh, macronutrients interact with uh, uh, metabolic processes uh, in order to find new ways to modulate your diet in order to activate maximally your, like your skeletal muscle. Okay, so metabolically speaking, is it possible to compare uh, mice and humans? It's of course difficult. Uh, a mouse is not a human and vice versa. <laughs> but uh, what we try to do, we do basic research, so we try to find basic principles. And so far, we know that most basic principles of energy homeostasis are very similar in mice to humans. Of course, you have to adapt things when you go to humans, but uh, biological processes are very similar. Okay. So um, for everyone out there who's carrying extra pounds or they're battling the bulge and they're trying to get rid of excess weight, um, will there ever be a pill that encapsulates all these ideas together? Or I'm very doubtful. I think we've been trying for many, many years and the system is so complicated, the system of body weight regulation, that probably it's not a one easy target that you can use to, to, to combat it. Because if it was so easy, we would have found it already, probably.